before London, it was just all about, about London and we came back to New Zealand and yeah, saw what the, the Olympics kind of meant to everyone and how kind of special it, it was to get a medal. We were proud to bring the silver medal back, but at the same time uh, gave us a little bit of uh, motivation to go back to Rio and be in the best shape that we can be to, to try and win the gold medal. They're, they're really cool boats, you know, they go really fast. They, um, you're close to the water and yeah, just the, the sensation of it, you know, going over the water is, um, yeah, it is definitely one of the cooler things about the 49er. Yeah. You are yeah, definitely on the edge when you're sailing. My dad got my brother into, into sailing and I was kind of being dragged along and then uh, ended up getting a boat and, and just kind of took off from there. I really still uh, enjoy what I do and really love being out on the water. And it's got so many different aspects of the sport, whether it's the racing or you know, cruising or you know, just, just battling against the elements. And that's something that you know, it, it makes the sport really hard. Pete and I came from very different backgrounds, grew up in different parts of New Zealand and um, probably things we did when we were younger were different. But you know, one thing we both uh, have in common is that we're really competitive and uh, really enjoy sort of learning and getting better so within that there's we different bring different skill sets to the to the board and I think that really helps us. Yeah so the 49 is probably the most high performance of the Olympic sort of boats. It's uh, really challenging boat handling wise if you go out on a windy day it's um, not uncommon that even the top guys in the world would capsize. It's hard if you're not on your game but that's something that we normally pride ourselves on so boat handling and if you know, we can sort of keep pushing hard for longer up the wind, wind range and um, when the boat's going faster without sort of buttoning back, then that, that's normally good for us. Not really a strength related sport. A lot of the stuff we do is about, you know, looking for gains in other areas through, you know, planning. So that means kind of hours of tuning the boats and, you know, learning about the settings and the equipment and the gear and technique and we really pride ourselves on, you know, being able to you know, make the right decisions around the racetrack to, to put ourselves in had you know, the best chances to, to have a pretty good lead coming into the, the end of it. Any time we're on, on the water, we just got to, you know, we have our own roles on the boat and we've got to concentrate on those. And you've got to trust the guy next to you that, you know, he's going to be doing his job 100% as well. And, you know, we've done that now for a number of years together and that's, you know, I think part of the reason why we're going well. You know, we've got to keep pushing on because if we're not learning, people are catching us. That's something that's kind of, I think, yeah, put us in pretty good stead so far. So. And we're just going to keep pushing on and get as good as we can uh, before before August. Watch this space for something crazy.